Steel Swarm Roach is currently one of the strongest rank 4 monsters in the game. His effect is simple, but extremely useful. That hard facehugger exoskeleton isn't just for show. Synchro Monster Hall Monitor, and there ain't no sneaking past him. On a quick effect, when a level 5 or higher monster would be special summoned, you can detach and exceed material from him to negate that summon and destroy the monster. It's not once per turn either, and if brought out in a standard way, you'll be able to use this effect twice. His stats aren't all that good, only 1900 attack on a rank 4 that can be beat up by Wadapon while in defense mode, but his effect is really strong. So why didn't it stop my opponent from summoning Blue Eyes White Dragon from White Stone of Ancients effect? Why can't it negate this fusion summon? The card is tricky, and just straight up confusing sometimes. I still see people that are perplexed by this card, thinking the game has a glitch when they can't use Roach to negate the summon of certain things, and that's the point of this video, a guide to the card so players can fully understand what Steel Swarm Roach actually does, because its card text by itself is not very clear. So in the simplest terms, Steel Swarm Roach can only negate the summon of a level 5 or higher monster that brings itself out. Or in other words, he can't activate his effect in response to a special summon that starts with a chain sequence. Think Lunalite Fusion or Cyberload Fusion. Since these cards are bringing a monster out by a card effect, it starts a chain. Steel Swarm Roach cannot negate this because he's incapable of negating an effect that summons a level 5 or higher monster, but just the special summon itself. This is called an Inherent Summon, a special summon that just works because of game mechanics and not effects. Synchro monsters are technically bringing themselves out because of how the game mechanics of needing to send the appropriate materials to the graveyard works. Now giving the example of Blue Eyes again, Roach can't negate the summon of the Blue Eyes summoned by White Stone of Ancients because he can't negate Ancients effect. White Stone of Ancients would be the chain link one here, and if it could negate this effect, if Steel Swarm Roach could, it would be chain link two. But think about how chaining in Yu-Gi-Oh works. After the chain is complete, it resolves backwards. So in this hypothetical, Roach's effect would happen first but there's no monster being special summoned yet because White Stone of Ancients effect hasn't resolved. There's nothing to negate, so Steel Swarm Roach just can't do this. However, what he can negate are referred to as Inherent Summons. So, keeping with the Blue Eyes example, Steel Swarm Roach can negate Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, because Inherent or Standard Summoning in Yu-Gi-Oh does not start Chain Links, so Roach can negate it. Other examples would be basically any Synchro Summon, monsters like Chaos Dragon Levianir or Chaos Sorcerer, cards that bring themselves out by game mechanics and not card effects. The reason it's distinguished like this is just how the card text is written, and that's the magic of colons and semicolons that distinguish an outright summon and an effect that activates then summons a monster. So ideally, you're using Steel Swarm Roach to counter Synchro Heavy decks, or decks that are running boss monsters that can summon themselves, like Chaos Dragon Levianir for Prime Thunder Dragons. So it's still a really good effect, but if it could negate any summon of a level 5 monster on an effect, uh, Inherent Summon doesn't matter, it'd probably be too strong and would probably be banned. And now that we have Pendulum Summoning, how does Roach deal with that? Well, Pendulum Summoning is a game mechanic, not an effect, so Roach can in fact negate the Pendulum Summon, which counts as a special summon, of any level 5 or higher monster. However, if your opponent summons a level 5 and a level 3 monster with a Pendulum Summon, Roach's effect would destroy the level 5, but not the level 3, despite them being a part of the same Pendulum Summon. The card is tricky. You really have to read and understand your opponent's deck before going into Roach. It can be devastating to use a lot of resources to get Roach on the field, and then to realize it was a complete waste for certain decks. But alternatively, against a deck like Shooting Star Dragon or Full Power Resonators, it could win you the game by itself in certain situations, negating the summon of Junk Warrior or Red Rising Dragon, for example. And that's why the card is still really good, and why it sees as much play as it does, because against the right deck, against the right situation, it is really good. So I hope this was helpful to anyone that still didn't understand the card, and that's the thing. I am far from the first person to explain all of this, make a video on this, anything like that. Uh, but just on Reddit alone, I see this confusion all the time. And with Pendulum Summoning come into the game, and how Steel Swarm Roach interacts with Pendulum Summonings, 
adding a new dynamic for him, I felt a refresher video here was warranted. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hoped it was helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and survive. Uh, expect a few more videos soon, uh, Buy the Box 3 is coming this week, and uh, some ranked live streams are coming, so stay tuned y'all.